Well, certainly I'm a hope springs eternal kind of guy, but did a Carnival Cruise Line spokesman tease that we may have cruising in October 2020? Holy moly. In today's episode of the La Lita Loca Cruise Show, I'm going to tell you about 10 cruise lines that are already cruising. And let's talk about this. Will Carnival Cruise Line cruise October 2020? Wow. <music> Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Look, new sponsor alert. How about that? Today's episode of the La Lita Loca Cruise Show being sponsored by LensRentals.com. It's a service that I am very fond of that I have used. The way I use it primarily is to try out gear that's very expensive that I just wouldn't buy before trying it out. This service allows me to do this, but I really think that lensrentals.com is a great service for the casual cruiser, for the traveler, for people that have a few special occasions during the year. I'll tell you about that, plus a great way to get a good discount on your next gear rental later on in the show. So the world is a buzz as to whether or not we are getting closer to the return of cruising. And there's a lot of signs going on right now, a lot of signposts, a lot of markers, a lot of indicators that are suggesting that we are closer to cruising than we are further away from cruising. There's actually 10 cruise lines that are cruising at this moment. Now, some of them you haven't heard of, you know, it, it is a list of 10, but I'll be straight up. I don't know all these cruise lines, but these are cruise lines that are putting out cruise ships across the globe. A few you will probably recognize, many you won't, but let me give you the list of 10 because this list is encouraging, showing that we do have cruising going on. The first one is Croce Europe. Croce Europe specializes in river cruising. It's restarted its operations in France July the 13th. The next on the list, Hapag Lloyd Cruises. Hapag Lloyd Cruises resumes sailing uh, from Germany. They're out of Hamburg. They've got a luxury cruise ship down there. They started cruising again at the end of July. Here's another one that you may not know the name of, Aranu Cruises. They cruise primarily in the Marquesas Islands, which is part of French Polynesia. They resume sailing on July the 18th. Now, you're starting to see a trend here. We have cruise lines that have been cruising since July all the way through August now into September. September. But if July is not that impressive to you, let me give you a cruise line that's been cruising since early June. Sea Dream Yacht Club cruising since early June. They've been cruising around Denmark. They've been making some trips to the Norwegian fjords, but they've been getting it done since June 2020. Let's talk about some that may be more familiar. Paul Gauguin Cruises. They're also cruising in French Polynesia. They started back for locals only around mid-July, July the 18th, but they did open up for international passengers passengers on July the 29th. Ponant Cruising, another cruise line that started in July, been cruising July, August, now into September. They got four cruise ships running, uh, running strong since early July, around the July the 4th. Dream Cruises started cruising early August, and they've been servicing Asian countries, cruising primarily around Taiwan. Now let's talk about the big ones. Tui Cruises have been running their mine sheaf cruise ships since early July. Those continue to run in Germany. MSC Cruises, they've been running successful cruises in Italy since mid-August. And of course, the latest entry to the fray is a Carnival Cruise Corporation-owned cruise line, Costa, just starting cruising in Italy in early September, but getting ready to add another cruise ship toward mid-September. So Costa making their move back into cruising, Carnival Corporation making their move back into cruising in Europe. Ten cruise lines already in play. Of course, that is not in North America. But again, there is some news coming out of Carnival Cruise Line that, that may cruises in October. I don't know. It seems crazy. But before I tell you about what Carnival Cruise Line brand ambassador John Heald just recently said on this subject, let me give you a little more information about our sponsor, LensRentals.com. LensRentals.com is the country's largest online gear rental house, and they have a variety of gear. They take care of the professionals all the way up to high-end cinematic cameras, all the way down to the hobbyists with the latest 
latest action cam. The reason this service is great for cruisers, vacationers, travelers, is you can get some really good gear for a really inexpensive price. One example is the GoPros 360 cam. It's a waterproof camera. A lot of people want to take waterproof shots when they go on a cruise. You like those 360 shots. And that camera is expensive, 500 bucks. 500 bucks if you're only going to go on vacation for a week. That may be too expensive. You may be tempted just to use your phone or not have an action cam, but that's no fun. You want to capture that shot. You can use lensrentals.com to get that same camera for about 60 bucks. So you get the advantage of the expensive camera. You get those shots that you want on your vacation and it doesn't cost a lot of money. My personal example, I've been looking at upgrading the camera for the show to something that shoots 4k. I looked at a camera and a lens. And if I came out of pocket for that, that would cost me $3,000. Holy moly. Who's going to spend $3,000 without trying the thing out? I was able to try out that camera and lens for a tenth of the cost. I got it for eight days for a little bit under $300. And uh, I was able to decide, I don't want to buy a $3,000 setup right now. I'm happy with this shot. It really helped me make a decision for what I want to do here on YouTube without spending uh, an exorbitant amount of money. And so if you got a special event, if you got a wedding, if you got a graduation and you want to up your camera game for just your cell phone, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, you can rent a camera for a week. And these guys are experts. You call them, you tell them what you're trying to do. They'll recommend a camera for you and they can ship it anywhere in the United States. If you happen to, you, they can, the camera can meet you on vacation, for example, if that's something that you can do. Now, the cool thing about the sponsorship is I do have the ability to offer you a 15% discount on your lens rental. There is a link in the description for lensrentals.com and there's also our La Lita Loca code that you can use to get that 15% off. A big thanks to lensrentals.com for sponsoring the show today. And uh, yeah, I can't recommend the service enough. So the question is, will you need a rental camera for a cruise in October? I'm like the most Pollyannic, pie in the sky, hopeful. Only a couple times during this crisis have I have I gotten the dumps and said, oh, maybe it's not going to happen. I'm always looking for some sort of signal, some sort of sign that cruising will return. And I got a big one yesterday from John Heal, brand ambassador for Carnival Cruise Line. In his daily talk, he said, yeah, look, we're working with officials, we're working with the CDC, and we are extremely extremely hopeful that we will cruise in November. Now that's a message I've heard before, but he goes on and he says, and possibly before. Now, the only thing that's before November that I know of is October. I mean, and then September, but we know we're not cruising in September. So extremely hopeful that we will cruise in November and possibly before on shorter modified cruises. Maybe I'm on to something. Did you see the video the other day where I was talking about Bahamas and private islands? Those would be shorter, modified cruises. I don't know. Now, John Heald, I love and respect this guy because he catches more crap than anybody I know. You got to have a thick skin to be out on the internet. Trust me, I can testify. This guy has a way bigger audience and he gets a lot more hate than I do and he takes it in stride. And so I'm sure when people heard him say maybe cruising in October, he's catching some guff. But man, I will stand behind him. I, I will support your desire to cruise possibly before November. He didn't say the word October, but what is I mean, what else could that mean? November or possibly before. That's got to mean October. Are we cruising in October? Uh, even hopeful me, I don't know. Like I'm going to be happily surprised. But could we? Maybe we could, right? So the only thing that's preventing sailing happening in October is the CDC no-sell order. That expires on September the 30th, and if that's not extended beyond September the 30th, the door could open for cruising in October. Now, the only other thing that keeps that door kind of closed is that CLIA's voluntary ban on cruising goes all the way to October the 31st, but Carnival is part of CLIA, and I'm sure they got some sway. I'm sure they could get an exemption. Uh, CLIA's not like the law. They're just a group of people that say we decide to do things together. They speak for the cruise industry. So I think it's super viable if the CDC no-sell order is not extended, CLIA could say, yeah, well, we're going to come back sooner. Carnival's going to make some cruises with some health protocols to some private islands, and we're going to we're going to try a couple. 
We're going to try a couple in October. Cruise Faithful, Cruise fans, do you think this is pie in the sky or do you think it's viable? One cruise in October, two cruises. I don't think there's going to be 20 cruises in October, but one cruise in October. Do you think that's possible? Leave a comment below. Have you heard of any of those cruise lines that I was talking about? And will we cruise in October? That's the question for today. Thanks again for LensRentals.com for sponsoring the show. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you're new, consider subscribing. You'll get more cruise updates every day. This is Tony for the La Lida Loca Cruise Show. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.